Some big games coming up in the Amateur League with Shocks playing at Goodwood tonight in a heritage match while at Golden Grove they have a twilight game and a big day raising money for breast cancer. We're going to hold a triple header against Paraka, uh, which is a, a local club next to, to us. It's a, a rematch of last year's Division 4 Grand Final, um, but we're going to play a C grade, uh, B grade and A grade. And you've got the jumpers made up with pink all over them, so you can't miss them? That's correct. Yeah, we've got uh, for the A grade only, it's just the A grade, but uh, yeah, they've, uh, the boys are pretty keen to play in pink, so we've got the pink jumpers ready to go. And you're going to auction them off afterwards, so we're looking for anyone that wants to make a donation there? Correct, that's it. Um, there's 24 jumpers, uh, they're all uh, open for auction. Uh, we've got two and two coming out to to auction it, uh, so auction years to get rid of them uh, seven o'clock after the game. So anybody that's interested, there's one there for them. Sounds like a great day and a great night. And what about the pink footies as well? They're uh, in in the mix as well. Yeah, we've got three pink footies. We'll uh, we'll get them signed by our boys and by the Paraka boys. I think Paraka are going to take the ball back to their club and and auction theirs off at the club. And uh, we'll do the same and we'll keep one uh, behind the bar for prosperity sort of thing. Mate, that's a great initiative and a great thing from the footy club. What made you decide to? do this for charity? Well, we've always wanted to give something back to the community. We're a big club at Golden Grove. We've got over 700 members, 500 kids playing out there. And uh, in the past, we've done things like the, the yellow um, bowel cancer thing that uh, Nathan Van Berlo got gone. And we thought it's time we did something ourselves. So what a better cause than uh, breast cancer. We, we do have a couple of uh, survivors in the club, and they, they're actually going to spin the coin at the beginning of the game. So uh, it's just something we want to give back to the community. Now Kilburn is also playing the special jumper in their home game against Poultney at 5.30 tonight. They're celebrating the Indigenous round with a Dreamtime Guernsey. We sort of spoke amongst our regional players within the club and said, OK, we need a Guernsey done up to see what sort of representation we can do for the local Aboriginal community in the area, which is the Ghana people. We come up with a sort of representation of the red kangaroo on the front of the, on the Guernsey with some um, circles representing Aboriginal meeting places. From that, uh, on the back, we've got a bit of a lizard done up with um, the numbers done in snakes. Um, hopefully just to catch people's attention. Yeah, I think they'll catch the attention and so will the barbecue tonight. No steak sandwiches here. Emu, kangaroo and croc burgers are on the menu. Sounds delicious. Great to see the passion for the community in amateur league footy. And don't forget, the league's leading goal kicker at the end of the home and away season will take home a clean ensemble thanks to Dreamland and AH Beard, formerly Sleephaven. We'll also give away some beautiful warm Wultara products throughout the season. Stay tuned for more on that. But thanks again to Dean Bendel and the team at Dreamland, the best betting store in SA. A great crew there.